Hi everybody, Meredith here again. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is gonna be my September favorites of what I've been loving this month. Um, I'm gonna have a playlist down below. I always put playlists down below that kind of match with the video of all my monthly favorites. So if you like this video, you can check out what I was loving even last year in September. Um, so let's jump on in. The first thing is this book. So this book, I have gone through a major loss this month and this book has been helping me a lot. It's 50 Days of Heaven by Randy Alcorn. And it is just a 50 day devotional. Um, so every day there's a short thing to read. Um, just, and it's all based on heaven. So, um, yeah, it's caused, it's brought me a lot of comfort, um, through this horrible time that I'm going through to be real honest with you. Um, but it has brought me a lot of comfort. So this is definitely like a top favorite of mine. I ended up giving it, um, getting a bunch of copies and giving them out to people, um, because it meant, it's meant a lot to me. So hopefully it'll mean a lot to others. And I like that it's not overwhelming, like a whole book to hand somebody. It's just like a short thing to read each day. Um, so yeah, so that is the top, um, pick this month. Um, the next thing is, is that I love, I've been getting super into Halloween. The last like maybe five, six years, maybe more, I'm really getting more into Halloween because I do a Halloween party every year for my family. Um, so the decor has gotten, I've gotten more and more stuff. And as you know, if you've watched my videos, I love Legos. So this is, um, one of my favorite Lego items this year and it's little Frankenstein. And I just, well, it's actually Frankenstein's monster. I guess it's the technical. Um, and it was just fun to build. And what I'll do with this is I built it. I have it out for Halloween and then I pull it apart and then I can build it next year because I actually really love building Legos. It's my favorite part. I don't necessarily always need them on display. I keep them out just because I've put so much work into them, but I just love building them. I think it's like therapeutic. It's fun. Um, so yeah, so the Frankenstein, um, uh, monster was definitely a favorite this last month for me. And then keeping with the Halloween love, I picked up these earrings. Um, and actually I bought them for myself and then a friend had given them to me. So it was pretty funny. They knew what I wanted. Um, and they are sugar fix and they're these giant earrings. Like they're huge. <laughs> And it's not something I, I went to Disneyland. I did not wear these in Disneyland just because they're way too big. They get caught in my mask, all that stuff. But I think they'll be super fun on actual Halloween um, and over the top. So I think it's pretty fun and they're movable and yeah, super cute. Um, kind of out there outrageous, but I mean, it's Halloween. Like you might as well have fun with it. Uh, so that was the next thing. And then the other thing I've been watching on TV is, um, well, the thing I'm watching, I watched that Lula Rowe documentary. It's on Amazon Prime. And if you haven't seen it, I think most people would really find enjoyment from it if you know anything about Lula Rowe. Um, I know people that sold Lula Rowe. I know people that purchased from Lula Rowe. I didn't neither, but I watched it all happen like on social media because a lot of them like would post their stuff on social media. And it was very interesting. Like all those MLM companies, all that stuff is kind of brought up. And um, yeah, I thought it was really good. I think it's kind of cool to get the word out on like, sometimes you can get into a company and it's really good. And sometimes it's not good. You gotta look out for yourself. And rich get, ri getting rich fast, anytime someone says get rich fast, be skeptical. That's not, that's, <laughs> that's not a normal thing. So. Um, you might be doing something illegal or just something, I don't know, immoral, um, or you may get screwed over. So anyways, it's a really good documentary. So I would highly check it out. I binged that whole thing. Um, I started rewatching it. It's not one that I would definitely rewatch. I stopped it cause I'm like, eh, I've seen this, but it was definitely cool the first time around. So I recommend, uh, the next thing is I actually finished a book. Like I said, my, uh, I've been going through a lot like these next, last few months. Um, but, uh, so it's been hard to read, to concentrate. And I finally finished a book and I finished it like totally like read through it really fast. And it's called, we were never here by Andrea Bartz Bartz. 
and it's really, really good. It's about um, a, two women that basically um, she gets sexually assaulted in on a trip in, um, and then in a foreign country. I can't remember the first country is. And then they end up killing, the friend walks in and they end up killing the guy. Then they go on another trip and the same thing happens. And you're trying to think, oh my gosh, are these like two mur murder women? It's one of them twisted and like manipulating the other one or is it vice versa? And then more and more happens. So, um, and there's a twist at the end. So not to give anything away, but there's a twist at the end. And I love stuff like that. I love regular female characters that are a little, a little loopy. Uh, I don't know what that says about me, but um, I really enjoyed it. And like I said, once I got like even the first few chapters in, I totally got into it and read the whole thing. Um, downside is it's a hardback. I'm not a big fan of hardback. Um, they're more expensive and they're not as fun to read, but I did enjoy it. And I do highly recommend it's a good one for the season, I guess, cause it's kind of, it's murder. Um, but yeah, very, um, it's suspenseful, but not like over the top. It's good. Um, okay. So the next thing and the last thing is so yeah I did go to Disneyland um for a few days and I hate carrying a lot of stuff on me I hate like heavy backpacks I hate all that stuff and usually I try and get away with just a lanyard with my cards in it and all that stuff and my pins but I was driving this time so I had to have my keys and then I just kind of got more and more like my phone and anyways so I thought of a different plan and I got myself a Herschel fanny pack and I put on some mini Mickey and pumpkin pins to make it festive for the season and then um and it's striped on the inside and I used my pin locks to lock them on so I had no problems with any of these falling off while I was there and I wore it like up here like across the body like the trendy way and then I wore it around my waist um uh, I noticed around my waist like my back started hurting because you're leaning forward. So I wore it across my um, side like that. And I got a lot of compliments. I got to say, I got a lot of compliments on it. And um, that was pretty fun. So, and it held just the right amount of stuff. It wasn't too much. Um, and I used it two or three of the four days. And then the other day I used a lounge fly backpack because I was taking my more stuff um, in for... Um, like the water rides I took the poncho in and stuff. So yeah, I highly recommend trying out getting a fanny pack. Never thought I'd be a big fan of them, but I loved having it and I will definitely be using this um, for future trips. All right, so I guess that's it. Um, it was a roller coaster of a month for me, honestly, um, but I'm happy I found some things that I really ended up loving. There were some really good things this month, um, and but I cannot wait for October. I mean, obviously, I'm filming that. Well, you don't know that I'm filming this in October, the very beginning of October, but, um, I am already, this month is looking up. So, um, excited for all the new things that are going to happen. And like, I'm having a Halloween party. So what are you doing this month? What are you going to be participating in? I'd love to know. Please leave them in the comments down below. I love when people interact in the comments. Um, and then if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. If you subscribe, like, and if you comment down below, I know you hear that a lot in YouTube videos, but it really does help a lot. So please do all three if you can, and I will talk to you later with a new video. Okay, bye.